Hello everybody, welcome to my guide to Comet Neowise, because if you haven't been out to see the comet yet, what have you been doing? Come on, get out there, make the most of any clear sky you've got, it's up all night, so you've got no excuse, get out there and have a look at the comet. To show you what you're missing, here's a few images that I took last night. Okay, so before it got dark, I managed to capture this one, and despite the clouds, despite the twilight, you've got the beautiful curved dust, cap, dust tail here, but you've also got the very straight bluish ion towel. It's made up of gas, so it's really, really light material. So as it's pushed away by the solar wind, it goes in a straight line directly opposite to the sun. Unlike the dust towel, because the comet's moving and they move slower, the dust towel normally curves in the opposite direction to the uh, direction that the comet is moving. So you can see that the comet is actually moving in that direction. The other thing I noticed last night that was the, was that the green colour around the coma is showing up much more than it did do. So it could, looks like the dust activity is slowing down. So there's not so much dust there to hide that green colour. So uh, lots happening on this comet. It looks like it might be fading. So if you haven't gone out yet, just get yourself out there and have a look. Here's another one. You can just see how long these tails are. It's absolutely huge. It's not a brilliant photo because of the clouds um, and slight trailing as well. But you can see there's a bit of a fork in the tail as well here in the dust tail. And a few of the striations you can just about see. And of course, here's that ion tail as well, which is going on almost forever. With the dust tail, I could make out about eight or nine degrees naked eye with averted vision. So it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And the ion tail is just as long. But it's much more difficult to see because it's a lot fainter. But it does come out really nice in photographs, as you can see. Here's another one. Again, you can see this fork in the dust tail. Uh, the uh, head of it's totally overexposed now, so you can't see the green in the head. But you can see this dust tail, uh, this ion tail, really, really nicely. This little line going across here, that's actually a satellite that went across while I was taking one of the subs. And then this is my best image of the night. This is 10 stacked subs and you can see beautiful curved dust tail with these striations going through it. And you can also see the ion tail coming here with a lot of structure in there. Now what I actually did, I took, I managed to get 40 subs of the comet around that time without too many clouds. So uh, what I did, I took the first 10 and stacked those the second 10 and stack those, the third 10 stack those, and then the last 10 stack those as well. So I created four individual images from those different um, numbers of subs. And so what I did, I then put those four images together to create an animation to try and show this structure moving as it was pushed away from the comet by the solar wind. And I think that was really successful. Here you can see the animation. And you can see this material definitely going up the tail. So lots of activity going on in the comet. And uh, I've captured that just using a small telescope and a DSLR. Isn't it fantastic? And I've also made that into a monochrome version as well, because you can see the uh, material in there a little bit clearer going up the uh, tail there. OK, so get yourself out and have a look at Comet Neowise. It's not going to be about forever. But if you haven't found it, you can't miss it. It's there. It's naked eye. But if you're really having trouble trying to find it, get out there in the evening sky. It's now getting better in the evening sky. It's getting a little bit higher as it gets dark. So get out there, have a look. And if you can't find it, Capella used to be your guide to doing it. But because it's now traveling towards the plow and Ursa Major, that's your guide started to become much more easier now. So here's a shot I took last night. So here's the comet where it was last night, and you can see it here. And of course here you've got the seven stars of the plow. So that's where it is in relationship to the plow. There's the seven stars of the plow, the saucepan with the bent handle. And that's of course Ursa Major, the great bear. And of course that's the rest of the great bear. Here's the head, here's the front paws, and here's the back legs and the back paws. And you can see the comet was not far from the front paws last night. And it was in Lynx a few days ago, but it's now moved into Ursa Major. 
Okay, it's eventually going to make its way over here to Coma Berenices. Uh, Berenices hair, uh, but that's going to be really low in the twilight once it gets there. So you need to really look at it over the next couple of weeks to make sure it's got the best especially if it might be fading now we need to get out there and have a look before it fades get out there so on the 23rd of july that's when it's at its closest to the earth so that's when it should be its biggest and brightest as we see it but comets are unpredictable it looks like it might be starting to fade so it may not be as bright as we hope it might be but we don't know just keep out there and have a look and at that time it's going to be almost directly below the plow the end of the pointers here so come down and then to the right at a little bit of an angle and you should be able to see the comet there when it's at its closest to the earth so on the 27th of july it's right in the uh, back legs of the great bear here it is here and you can see the tail as it goes around past the earth it's actually swinging the tail around because obviously this is where the sun is so as it comes around the tail is swinging around as it goes past the earth so that's where it's going to be on the 27th of july and then on the 31st of july it's actually moving pretty quickly and that's so actually right down near coma Berenices. but that should now be starting getting a bit lower in the twilight so next week the next couple of weeks get out there have a look for the comet Make sure you make the most of this because it's the best comet we've had for 23 years since Hailbot was in the sky. So get out and have a look. Use binoculars because it looks absolutely stunning in a pair of binoculars. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Get out there, have a look because it looks stunning in a pair of binoculars. So here's the path it's going to follow. So make sure you commit that to memory so you can find it as it passes beneath the plow so get out have a look i hope you found this useful if you have give us a thumbs up if you haven't let me know what i've done wrong and subscribe to my channel okay so get out there have a look at the comet keep safe keep well and keep looking up <laughs>